Alrighty, I'm not going to mess around with the fancy intros this time. This is just a uh, reshoot of the jazz video. Uh, one, now that he's complete with his gun under here, as you can see. And just to make it a little bit more clarity. A little clear, add a little bit more clarity. Um, make sure he's not off screen now that I've got back at my better setup. So yeah, there's jazz in his vehicle mode, um, as you've seen before. It rolls fairly well. Um, the gun does fold up and store right under there under his front hood. And you can keep it there in robot mode as well if you'd like. He does have the, uh, if you open up the doors, you can flip the speakers out and over and deploy them in vehicle mode. Play some cold slither, high volume, if you'd like. Yep. I always end up unclipping that when I'm trying to twist it around. And that's just because it clips on. And you can clip any of the other uh, clip-on weapons onto his windows if you like. There he is uh, in car mode with the uh, speakers deployed. And you can adjust them and bring them into the car or put them away from the car, however you want. But he can uh, extend those speakers from the vehicle mode. Just plug that back in. That in and he's back in car mode. Now, to transform him, you want to come under here, uh, pull the gun off, and the gun actually comes up here and extends uh, and kind of snaps into place like that and forms a pistol. Just like that. Um, and then the robot itself, you want to open the doors, or bring the arms down, out and up, out and up. Just bring the arms down like that. Just have some wrist movement there. And then when you bring the uh, the whole hood down, you want to make sure to pull this, or pull, unpeg the legs here. I snapped on really good there this time. Okay, like that stuff. You want to make sure you pull this up and out because this actually sits up against the back a little higher like that. And um. A little bit better focus there. But when you bring the uh, the chest plate down, the head automatically flips up into place. You can angle the doors back. And this is the only door hinge. You can't rotate them down at all. Well, just so you know, there's no clip back here really for uh, the shoulder launcher, unfortunately. A lot of people were talking about giving them wheel jacks or using Trax gun as his shoulder missile. And there's really no place to clip that on anywhere. And then the legs, you want to make sure you flip the feet out. And then the legs extend down like this. And straighten out. There we go. Just like that. A lot of people were saying the legs look too hollow. And they really aren't. I mean, like, they, they fill... There is a gap there. But, I mean, like, if you look at his leg, his leg does kind of, like, straight down. Just got the car armor wrapped around it. Around the ankle. They really aren't hollow at all. Yeah, you just straighten those up. And then stand them up, bring that knee forward. And there is Jazz in robot mode. There we go. And just as a quick size comparison, uh, since we did it yesterday and people seem to enjoy the uh, standard common object comparison, uh, here he is, next to a Coke can. Um, so a little taller than a Coke can. There we go. Um, just because that was fun. And also, uh, to get a comparison, there he is with uh, Thunderwing. And, and Jazz is a little on the tall side for a Deluxe. Um, Thunderwing is obviously a little on the short side. He looks taller because of uh, the cockpit in the back, but you can see he's actually only comes up to about Jazz's chest. Um, the gun, as I mentioned, uh, pistol comes off, 
you can hold that in his hand just like that. That uh, fits very easily. And you can also, if you want, uh, you can unclip these speakers here. You can deploy these over his shoulder uh, in robot mode uh, if you wish, uh, just like you could in car vehicle mode. You just come out of the win windows if you want to have his uh, speakers deployed in robot mode. But you can unclip them. Go ahead and flip these pieces back in. And you can actually, if you want, flip them around like this and clip them onto his gun. He has two little points on either side of his gun that uh, can take, again, those clips. And there's even a little tab here to help lock the speaker in place. There's like a little groove here on the speaker that tabs onto this little tab right in front of the clip here on the gun. So you can clip the uh, speakers onto the gun or clip any other of the clip system weapons onto the gun here. But you can give them a bigger gun. You can clip those in and it gives them a much bigger gun. So, it's up to you. Uh, you can do that however you want. But yeah, there he is um, in focus, in frame this time. Uh, just a much better look at uh, Generations Jazz, which is just a great figure. I highly recommend picking this one up when you can because he's really, really cool. There he is, Generations, or I guess Reveal the Shield. He's not Generations. He does have the rub sign uh, here on his back. See, there we go. They cool down really quickly. There he is, uh, Reveal the Shield Deluxe Jazz.